Nelson, how would you assess your outing overall today? It was a battle. Um, I felt really good going into the game um, in the bullpen. I was hitting my spots and I had life and, and uh, felt the same in the first inning. Um, I felt like this is the first game that I've actually felt like got my fastball back and life to it a little bit. Um, I was just kind of missing, piss, missing pitches and, and uh, getting my pitch count up early on, which didn't really help me. Um, and I had to, to fight, basically, it seemed like the whole game. And when, um, when you go into a start like this, I mean, you know the bullpen's been worked really heavily lately. You know this weekend there's a lot going on in Baltimore. Um, is there a chance you kind of put pressure on yourself to be, you know, to push far into a game, to go six, seven, whatever it is? I mean, I don't know. Is, it, is that on your mind at all, the circumstances surrounding a game? Not really. Honestly, it's just like one batter at a time for the most part. You, you can't really focus on going deep in games unless you focus on the batter ahead of you and, and the count and, and just making your pitches. And uh, if you make your pitches and you get outs, quick outs, you're able to go deeper in the games. Thank you. Mark Zuckerman, MassSports.com. You talk about making pitches. There were a few there. It looked like you thought you had made your pitch and, and didn't get the call. Um, as that's playing out, what do you sort of say in your own mind to, to not let that linger and, and, you know, have anything negative happen after that? Yeah, I mean, I thought I made a couple of good pitches here and there. And um, just going back after throwing those pitches, I just couldn't make the adjustment. Um, I was kind of nibbling a little bit, maybe too low or too high at times, and and I just couldn't uh, find the strike zone of uh, um, of where it was. But uh, I just had a battle, and I, it wasn't pretty today. But you know, I had a battle. I know you probably don't like the result of what ends up happening, but when you hear teammate like Strasburg yell what he does from the stands in support of you, uh, how does that make you feel? Makes me feel good. I mean, um, just knowing that he has my back and knowing that he's watching me pitch and, and got eyes on the umpire to see like how the game's going and whatnot and he's fighting for me, that's that's great. That's what I want. Other questions for Austin? Austin, Austin Hill, MassSports.com. Hey Austin, people always talk about uh, velocity and stuff like that. Uh, do you think that that is something that uh, can can go up as you as you get more repetition um, as as the season goes on? Is that something that that happens because you guys had to start and stop so much? Yeah, potentially. I mean, you look at a lot of pitchers right now, and and uh, on our team and other teams, and their velo is down, and they're trying to find things right now. And I think the more that we throw, and the more that we get more in tune with the season, and the season goes on, and we progress, and kind of figure things out in our mechanics and whatnot and um, just kind of get in rhythm with the season. I think, you know, velos will start to go up and you'll start to kind of hone in on, on locations a little bit more and not be as wild. Um, but for sure, I mean, um, just continually throwing is going to help that. I know you wanted a better result today, but can you feel for what it was like for Seth Romero today to to make his major league debut and what that felt like for you and, and what he's going through? Yeah, it's got to be a good feeling for him. I, I made my debut in the stadium and uh, um, just kind of getting it out of the way. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad, but just knowing that you made your debut, you're a big league pitcher, um, you can kind of throw this aside and, and you go whatever opportunities you have in the future, you know that um, – you know, you're a big leaguer and you just need to prove yourself now.